Hi everyone, welcome to yet another exciting edition of Tea Time, where we usually bring you entertainment stories or interviews with your favorite celebrities or up and coming artists. We'll be telling you what we've got in store for you later on today. But first, allow me to introduce myself and the usual suspects. I'm Tokumbo Tairu, here with Ife Omai <laughs> and Ife Oshie. Hi, Tom. Yes, sir. Hi. Hi. suspect, though. Okay. Uh, Ife, what was that song you were singing earlier? <laughs> what song? CC <laughs> <laughs> Trouble. Mm. Am I a suspect? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what's new, guys? Uh, uh, it would be nice to talk about family. Okay. And, yeah, and but Thursday. first, you need to do that. Why am I dusting your. Because I told you it wasn't going to press charges. Uh, I, was I it Ife that said it? I think it was uh, Ife Girl that said it. Was it not you that said it? No, 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 no. She yeah, was um, in support of him pressing charges. No, I. Mm, yeah, but he did press charges. Uh, oh, okay, he, he, did. he said he started the process mm -hmm. and then he. Um, you know, refrain from. People of coal. Yeah. yeah, and I told you he needs this people. He doesn't want to end this career. He has a lot of money to make from this people. So mm -hmm. if they mediate on Paris's behalf, mm -hmm. it's only wise. It's the right choice not to press charges. We've seen cases in America with superstars that you can get millions of dollars off, but they settle out of court and they don't press charges because they think about the business advantage of I think I think I connection. hear you on that but this is very different because it make it, you make it seem like he doesn't have a right to do that and him doing that would be wrong I never made it someone that was like assaulted he doesn't I mean, have the right no, the only thing say, the only don't thing don't say I, 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 I'm making it look like did he you just go all Nigerian right. on him yes oh, okay. um, and then <laughs> the only thing I would say is that like are you being like, racist I, Oops. Uh, okay. <laughs> Different ball game altogether. Uh, All right, make your point so that we I can think, move I on. think I think he did well with his response. I like mm -hmm. the way he even put humor on the on the whole spin. Mm -hmm. I still just don't like the fact that because he, he mentioned that uh, Peruzzi and David O have apologized, except it's an apology that we're not seeing. Mm -hmm. But the that's trash that they Twitter wasn't an apology, apology. to me. So, okay. but that's but well, I'm glad he's moved on and he's found a way to make this thing his own and like you know mm -hmm. be on top of it all. So good for you. Familiar. Okay. All right. I think uh, we're done with the uh, stories now. Uh, let's tell you what we've got in store next. Uh, we've got uh, uh, an artist here in the studio, a guest here in the studio. Yes. Um, there's not much to say other than the fact that he was the uh, second, um, well, he was the winner at the second um, edition of The Voice Nigeria. And um, his origin, he was actually born Daniel Dion Goli, and uh, his first uh, single is titled Better Love, and it was actually released in February 2018. With over 23,000 followers on Instagram, ladies and gentlemen, we present Ideal. Thank you very much for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. Bumbo. Thank you for having me. What's Thank up, you. man? Adina. So <laughs> <Adina. laughs> Yeah, I'm, okay. I'm really happy to be here with you guys. Okay. Normally, we like to start with, like, your background and everything, but I think okay. we should start from the opposite end. What's, like, your latest project and what you're working on right now? Is there, is there a video? Is there um, uh, a, a song that has been released? Or is yeah. there some other kind of project that you're... Uh, currently working on now I just I just released a new song satisfy me okay. um, yeah yeah featuring Roland from South Africa mm -hmm. a couple of weeks back and the video is out too mm -hmm. and um, big thank you to all my fans like they've they've made it worth the while for me like mm -hmm. the streams you know the response to the music okay. so far yeah okay all right so since we're talking about um, your latest project I would yeah. like to you know a lot of people would ask you what's the meaning of your name why I do but I went online and I pulled off something okay. it says the meaning of ideal now a yeah. short prem properly a yeah. short pastoral poem Poem. as the ideals of chill creators also any poem especially a narrative or descriptive poem written in an elevated and highly finished style also by extension mm. any artless and easily flowing description either in poetry or prose of simple rustic life of pastoral saints and the like so mm. Did you get your name from that? That one long ago. He went into some kind of yeah, that was long ago. So I, I actually I want to know because I, I need to know. Okay, actually, how like get it was right. it was I D E A L. Hmm. It was actually Mr. Ideal back in school. Okay. So like when I decided to take my career to the next level, I had to do like rebrand. Cause like if you type Mr. Ideal, like they show you a lot of pageants mm. and stuff. So yeah, I was I was with my friend one day and he was like, you know, I was talking to him about it and he was like, ah, oh, guy, why you try IDYL? You know, I didn't even know like 
what that mm. meant. Or, mm -hmm. Like, but I just like the like the fact that it was just four letters mm. and quite simple. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah, and distinctive as yeah. well. But have you gone further to dig? Yeah, I did. I did. I've and actually like. That mm. over time, like mm -hmm. done researches with the. But you're still the going name. with the ideal in the real sense, like Mr. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like so, it's that ideal. So, it's not, so it the, was coincidental the with the definition. Yeah, yes. it, was. Yeah. Yeah. it was. It was. So why, why, why that name? Did you find yourself um, as Mr. I? Did you have people treat you like a, like an ideal man? Or? Yeah, hmm. like because I was I was singing a lot of John Legend covers in school. Okay. Right. You know, yeah, and um, like. Every time I got up on stage, like, and I sang, like, every, the whole place went wow. And yeah. then people meet me on the road and tell me, oh, wow, you have a nice voice. And wow, can I sing? I wish I sang like you and mm. stuff. And I'm like, oh, OK. Like, people wish you can do this thing. Like, I do it. Mm. So I guess then. That's okay. ideal. Yeah. All right, you know, now, now that you mention it, you know, I think now is the perfect opportunity because you brought it up yourself. You know, oh, so <laughs> whoever, you know, hasn't heard you sing, now's your chance, you know, to give hey. them the ideal pitch, oh, wow. the mm. ideal wow. song. But I want you to do a John Legend song, actually, as opposed to uh, yeah. one of your favorites uh, that okay. you've got. Yeah. Okay. So that, after this John Legend, mm -hmm. you want him to do something else. I'm going to put you on the spot. The sport. Yes. So let's start with John Legend. We like, yeah. We yes. like exclusive. No, if I don't tell him yet, when we're done, okay. you can so tell him. Google bring producer, bring speaker. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh, because we haven't got much time, let's okay. just do a chorus of uh, John Legend. Okay. So I'll do. Um, I'll do. Girl, I'm in love with you. This end of honeymoon, we've passed the infatuation phase. Yeah. Right in the thick of love, at times we get sick of love. Seems like we argue every day. I know I misbehaved, you made your mistakes. We both still got room left to grow. And though love sometimes hurts, I still put you first. We'll make this thing work, but I think we should take it slow. We're just ordinary people. Well, I got a flu oh, last night. Wow, well done, well done, well done. Okay, oh, wow. Be if, uh, before you That's carry with on, the please. flu, guys. Wow. <laughs> yeah, before you go on, because I am just like, let me draw our viewers' attention to the way my very usual suspect here was like, she was swaying. <laughs> and then she was like, you know, she, I, I could feel I the goosebumps. She fell in love. Not for a minute. I think she's falling really in love. Did you? Nice. Yeah. So, um, but, anyway, I think I've said enough. If they're over to you. Okay, so I'm talking about exclusive content yeah. and right here we like that a lot yeah. and I would like you to do a song no one has heard or we're still in the kitchen <laughs> and we're cooking right now or only your producer your management okay. team is there. something no one has heard I want something fresh oh, on that one. you know that this, no that I do not steal your style you can do you not steal your style mm. worry, okay how about I just do a freestyle okay, okay. great then better yeah good okay I'm sitting here on the round table, see you there smiling at me, and the flashing lights and cameras going round and round and round and round, and I feel like a star, cause I'm sitting here right now, 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 now. That's loud wow. Wow. Okay. All right. That's the perfect way for us to go on a quick break. When we return, we'll carry on chatting uh, with our guest here today. Ideal is his name. We'll be right back to discuss more on uh, his latest projects and everything to do about his life and his uh, talent. We'll be right back. I see my baby I see my baby. It's where the big stories live. This is Plus TV Africa. When I did it, I was full on, hands on, on the whole project. So how did you that deal with it? All of that negative. I got depressed, obviously. Of, duh. <laughs> Haven't you heard? I've got two of the hottest topics currently trending on social media. If you've seen the word Senate trending on Twitter, that's because the Nigerian police force has gone Trump style. I probably I haven't shared this with anyone, but I reckon I get about like 100 people asking for help a day. That's a fact, I can prove that.
Welcome back. You're watching Tea Time right here on Plus TV Africa. If you're just joining us, we're talking to our studio guest, uh, recording artist, or shall I say singer, Ideal. Okay, so before the break, you gave us like um, <laughs> snippets of your talent, yeah. you know, and one thing that I noticed was that, you know, you really got into it. Are you like one of these kind of quiet people, but when you actually get on stage, you know, you're a, you're a different person altogether, yeah, or you have like an alter ego? Yeah. <laughs> well, like, um, I'm not quiet. Okay. Yeah, but like it's it's a whole like a lot of people tell me when they hear me talk and like when they see me in my mm -hmm. elements of uh, uh, um away from the stage not doing music Backstage, like yeah. yeah like they don't feel like I can come up on stage and like what pull you it do. Yeah. yeah so like I don't know does that affect you when it comes to like getting gigs or anything like that because I would imagine that some people for example let me give yeah. you like in the university where um, if there's an organizer, it depends on how the person performs that yeah. they um, record them, uh, recommend them for other shows, other shows or yeah. future shows. But some people, when they see how you perform, or when they see you in the first instance, I have no idea what sort of talent mm. um, you can like, um, what you can display. Yeah. They judge you before you actually get on stage. I'm yeah. like, has that affected you in any way? Did that even apply to you in any way, shape, or form? Or did, it didn't have to apply to you because yeah. you always went on stage anyway? No, like, it, it always applied to me because, like, when I pull up, like, mm -hmm. they just see me and it's an just a small guy, okay. you know. Mm -hmm. uh, before now, not looking, you know. Mm. So, like, it was like, okay, let's see what he can do. Mm. But then, when I got the opportunity, I like, got up on stage and I sang. Like, uh -huh. And when I come back, those, those same people are the people like that just hooked me up with the next show. Like, back in school, mm -hmm. I was playing shows back to back, back to, to back, back to wow. back. Yeah. Okay. So I just wanted. Oh, you yeah, go on. <laughs> um, you mentioned opportunity. Uh, yeah. Would you say right now? I mean, you've come from a long way. You've been doing this yeah. for a while. Would you say right now that you know opportunity is still something that is challenging for you, or have you been able to like? find a way to um, really just seize opportunities that are in the industry for a voice like yours? Well, um, thing is preparation. Mm. Yeah, so I think like it should be like, if I'm prepared to capture every opportunity that comes, yeah, like I've been, I've been working on a lot of music and then like I've been meeting a lot of people and like talent, they say don't lie. So all these people I meet, like when they get to, when we get to speak and they get to hear my songs and mm -hmm. like, like we go deep, you know, somehow opportunities come from there. So yeah, like loads of opportunities have been coming and we've been riding mm -hmm. on them. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so speaking of opportunities, I know you've always made it clear that you came from the streets yeah. and you were raised Proud. by the streets yeah. and you've proudly said that everywhere you've yeah. been to. So what's your story? Anyone watching can be inspired by your story. So what's your story when oh. you say you from <laughs> the streets and you were raised by the streets? My, my story is, is a very long one, but like I cut it short. So yeah, I come from, um, uh, a family of were about six, but my mom and dad were not. They were not together when I was like when I uh, growing up. So I, I grew up with my dad, and it was me and my dad everywhere, and we were not fortunate enough to you know have those flashy things. You know, mm -hmm. we're living in like a face me and face you house, mm -hmm. one room with my grandma. You know, mm. And then, yeah, it was just like that. But like the only thing that kept me going was the fact that I felt really loved by my dad. Mm. And then it, there was a point where I was really like a problem child, mm. you know. And then everybody around, everybody like, everybody like, they just counted me out. Like I was marked out. Mm. But it was it was only my dad, you know, and mm. um, like two of my friends that were there. And it got to a point where I was like, yo. I discovered the music and it was the only thing, it was it was the only escape road for me. Yeah. Okay. So like I held on to it and I kept doing it. Like that was the only thing I could that was the only thing that was believable. Mm. Like that was the only thing I had to present to anyone. Mm. So like I realized that, thankfully, and I started the grind, started pushing. Mm. It wasn't easy, mm -hmm. still not easy, but then like Fast forward to now, it's like I've come a long way. Yeah. I've come a long way because my dad never never had a car uh -huh. or a live in like 
in, in a flat, mm. never, okay. you know. But, but now I'm here in Lagos, I'm verified on um, Instagram, I have mm. a car, I live in a flat, I'm traveling, you know, so mm. like, it's, it's more than just being the Voice Nigeria winner or being a celebrity, it's, it's life, it's life changing, it's mm. like, okay, like, when I call myself great speaking, I used to tell my guys, like, it's not because I'm, I'm the person that goes to church the most, mm. it's because, like, I'm the most undeserving. I feel like I'm the most undeserving, mm. but then somehow, like, I just come out and then... There was a turnaround. You know, yeah. 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 So, but yeah. would you say that was, like, the lowest point in your life, or was there some time, other time, where you actually went lower than that, so much so that it led to... Um, because some, some <laughs> yeah. celebrities have come out yeah. to say in the past they went through depression. depression. Yeah, so I don't know if you had anything along those lines. It doesn't yeah, have, have to be depression. I have, I have. Like, I think it's, 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 it's like a normal thing for, um, especially uh, people that just, like, like, they would say, come out from nowhere. Because mm. I came to Lagos mm. in 2017, in February, and by the end of the year, I was already so many people were talking about, I was already in the conversation. So like, I was still trying to learn the parts. I was still trying to realize myself, discover myself, you know, musically. So after The Voice, when I got back, like after the first two, three months, like it was, it was like a whole different ball game for me. Cause I, it got to a point where I, I didn't understand what was going on around mm. me anymore. You know, I felt like, then I was asking myself if winning The Voice was a blessing or a cause, yes. cause, mm. At that point, nobody was calling my phone. Ooh. I wasn't doing anything, like I was just there. But then, like, that taught me that, 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 that period of my life, I think it prepared me for now. Because mm. mm. that made me realize that, oh, look, all you have to do right now is work harder. Because there's a lot of people out here in this industry, but the only thing that can make you stand out is when you put in that work and mm. you know so like i just believe that yo i i might not be the flyest i might not be i might not be everything of that mm -hmm. but then what i have is the music mm. and i know that whenever i put the music on the table mm -hmm. like people will listen so like okay yeah all right before we ask you our next question let's quickly go on a break okay. yeah so we'll take that quick break now when we return we'll carry on chatting with our studio guest uh, singer ideal we'll be right back We do not understand we will stigmatize. What you can see is the remaining of the tanker that exploded. The suffered equally confessed. A 500 dollar the collector. With no talk, they will beat you. Now two to other five and they You're watching Tea Time right here on Plans TV Africa. Uh, we're talking to uh, our studio guest, a music uh, singer, um, Ideal. And before the break, um, if uh, Oma, you were going to ask a question. Yes. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm, you just mentioned about the whole uh, the voice and everything. Yeah. I know it's not a very like mainstream way of people doing music. Usually yeah. you just start yeah, yeah. on your own and stuff. So I just wanted you to give a, a bit of, I guess, um, insight on what that was like for you starting the show, the experience, and then coming out of it, were there more advantages from that or disadvantages? Did you get more exposure or definitely. did it just weaken your No, image? definitely, like, because before, before I came to Lagos. Where I, are you from? I'm from Bayosa. Right. Yeah, before I came to Lagos, I started auditioning for talent competitions in 2011. Yeah, that was when I started traveling out of Bayosa to go audition, because, like, these things don't come to Bayosa, so you have mm. to go. That's when I started traveling. So like, it was, we didn't have any means, you know, not even to go to the studio to record songs. So the only, the only way out was doing that stuff. Even if you had, mm -hmm. had the opportunity to record a song, 
how do you promote it for the people to hear it? So the only way was, okay, Modi Hozu competition. Now, by the time they see your face, it makes it easier. Mm -hmm. So, like, when I got on The Voice, it was everything for me. It was, it was get it or just die trying, yeah. you know? Yeah, because, <laughs> like, that was, like, I saw that as the only way mm -hmm. out for me. Yeah. It was the only way out for me. And, yeah, thankfully, like... Did you think you were going to win? Actually, like truthfully, I'll tell you that I'm, I'm someone that really believes in, like, I believe that if I can just have a picture of it in my head, like Impossible. it's going to happen. But it was almost like just um, a mere thought mm. like, just there because there were loads of amazing singers. Like I was, nobody was even looking at me, not until like... The competition started getting tougher and tougher and tougher. And it's like, oh, this guy is there, you know. But mm -hmm. then, like, every performance I did back to back, like, I was doing my stuff and, you know. So with that being said, you spoke about your lowest point. Yeah. And here you are, you're signed to Universal Music Group. Yeah. And um, what would you say has been your biggest achievement since your 2017 win? Biggest achievement? First, it will be the win. <laughs> yeah. yeah. First, the win. And um, 2017, 2018, like in 2017, 2018, like I, I did a couple of, um, I traveled, I went to China, I did cool. um, a, a performance in China for wow. about almost like 5,000 yeah. people, Chinese. Wow. You know, and that, like, that's like, Mm. That's that's big for me, yeah. and then for me, like every moment is every moment is big. Every yeah. moment is memorable. Cause sorry like to a, cut in there. Yeah. But I, I know you said it was big, but was it big financially as well? Performing in front of these five thousand Chinese nationals. Yeah, of course. Like it was at least mm, it was something. better than. Okay, what you did. You know, yeah. yeah, so okay. yeah, definitely. I mean, okay, so then let's just, let's just focus on your song right now. Yeah. What's the inspiration behind that? Ah. The lyrics. Yeah, Especially the first one, which was Better Love. Better so, love. I don't know, is there a lady <laughs> in... Oh, Better Love, no. Like, okay. Better Love was, there was oh. like I said, like, I grew up in, I grew up in an unorganized setting, mm. like, where everything happens. So, like, it, there, were, there, was, there were situations where you see people beating up their wives and stuff, like, um... um what do you call it? Domestic, <laughs> domestic, violence. domestic violence and stuff. You know, like, and that was, it, it, it turned on the children the wrong way, a lot of them. Mm -hmm. Like, so when I was in the studio making Better Love, when I wanted to make Better Love, I was thinking of like, I had to have a direction for the song. Mm -hmm. But then I didn't have to like, go direct and hit that particular mm -hmm. nail on the head. Mm -hmm. So I had to bring it from another angle. But actually like, Better Love talks about you not being comfortable where you are and you not getting what you want where you are, you gotta move on. Like you deserve better than mm. what you're getting. And if you see the video, we wanted to like go from another perspective again and say, okay, now the abuse most times is no longer physical, mm. but most times verbal, That's like uh -huh. emotional. Or emotional. So, yeah. Speaking on domestic violence, you have a platform to advocate and if you're able to start a foundation mm. to advocate for any societal issue, what would it be and why? If I have, uh, it would be, it would be probably be police harassment. Mm. Okay. Yeah, like that's, that's like, that's like, it's a big one. It's a big one. Mm. It's a big one. Yeah, because, like, I myself, I've gotten into their net, like, countless times, mm. you know? So, like, I think that's, that's, like, one thing I'd really advocate for. And another thing, that's, that's the most important thing, like, there's, there's this thing about kids like us that come from that place that is not fine. Mm. And... There's this perception people have that once you come from the ghetto, like, ah, this guy, no, no worry. Random. You know, you probably have dreads and you, so like, if, if, I, if I could advocate for something, like if, if I would, I think I would in the future, mm -hmm. you know, come, like, I'd, I'd really advocate for those people out there that mm -hmm. the rest of the world 
it's not looking at like mm. there's there's a lot of diamonds there mm. you know, in the rough. Mm -hmm. yeah, so. Okay, all right. Unfortunately, that's uh, all we've got time for. If it's like you wanted to ask a question, yeah, no, no, <laughs> sign us out with a song. With a song. <laughs> okay. All right. I think we should do that. So uh, before that comes on, uh, just to say that that's what we're going to draw the curtains on today's edition of the program. I have to thank my colleagues on set uh, for being their usual selves. If they're on my and if they're on Shinke, I uh, also like to thank you know our group of stylists, uh, Liz Harrison and Kudis Empire, and our production team as well. And how can I forget our studio guest in the program, Singer Ideal. Thank you very much for coming on. The thank, you. thank you. Until next me. time, I remain Tokumbo Taiwa saying thanks for watching and have yourself a good day. Baby, can even a man, do you think that you can satisfy me? Tell me now, tell me now. Peace. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.